Lights out. Lights up. When is he going to get here? He's over an hour late. Calm down. He's probably just stuck in traffic. Traffic or not, I want my money. What? I mean, traffic. It's uh, not very funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, you wouldn't want to scare him off. Violet, oh, Chris is being mean to me again. Violet is not going to help you. She's not father. Listen, stop it, both of you. It's been hard enough since father's dead, but please don't take it out on each other. Uh, okay, fine. Good, now let's all just sit and wait for Mr. Wentworth to arrive. Oh, but I'm tired of waiting. Me too. You haven't been waiting with us. I was there in spirit. Oh, ow, what did you do that for? To make sure you're here for real this time. I'm going to tell father. What? Oh, never mind. Are you two so excited about? Nothing. <laughs> I don't think so. There's something going on. I haven't seen you act this way since the time you plotted to throw that big party when father was away. What are you not telling me? Nothing, I swear. Look at me, father. Would I lie to you? Well, I guess not. I believe. Okay, I'm gonna go see if Hazel's coming along well with Wenchy. Make sure you let Mr. Wentworth, let me know when Mr. Wentworth arrives. Yes, Violet. She is so cool! I know. <laughs> yeah, our plan is going so, so crazy. <laughs> Wait, did you have to pinch me so hard? Yeah, for realism. Oh, you didn't tell me you were gonna do that. I know, I was. At living. Uh, uh, do you have Father's will? Yes. Did you sign it? Did you make sure both, or did you get him, get it signed properly? Yes. Did, in his, in his father's handwriting? Yes. I, and when the lawyer gets here, Violet will keep me busy with lunch, okay? So then we're gonna switch to the real will for the fake will. Okay, good. Well, it's just about ready. Oh, uh, good, I hope that, that the lawyer gets here so we can eat. Things all. Oh, that must be him. Hello, can I help you with some? Hi, my name is Gabriella Discuso, and I was a friend of your father's. Oh, come on in. Now, uh, who is this? This is my brother. Oh, but I thought we were in love. I mean, uh, in love. Yeah, I'm her brother. That's it. The name's Richardson, Guy Richardson. <laughs> well, it was very nice of you two to stop by, and I really think it's time that you should be going. Oh, oh. And yes, and oh. it's not a good time with Father being dead. Oh, I what know. is wrong with you two? What? You are so rude, there's no excuse for this at all. I just can't believe you're being so damn rude for these people that are trying oh, to Oh, yeah, you can't have them here when Mr. Whitworth arrives. Well, there's no excuse for rude behavior. Now go to the dining room and set the table. Oh, but that table's too big to set. Well, and it's Hazel's job, not ours. So, now, I'm sorry, Violet. Oh. Why, hello again. I'm in there. So sorry about that. Those two have been acting strangely all day. It must be the shock of our father's untimely death. <laughs> That's quite all right. I understand totally. You do? Yeah, she had your father once. Uh, I mean, uh... What he meant to say was, I had a father once too. And I know what it means to lose somebody that you love. Yes, it's not easy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, where are my manners? What can I do for you, Mrs. Husso? Well, we just came by to pay our respects to a great man. He really was a great man. I'm going to miss oh, him. Oh, don't cry. Sit down. Have a seat. Thank you. Did you know my father well? No, but I heard so much about him. It's like a part of me died with him. Oh. I mean, he was so wealthy. In spirit. Oh. He was so rich. Oh, in character. If he was still alive, I'd 
I would love to have gotten to know him and his money. What is Monet? Guy is a huge art fanatic. Oh, do you like Da Vinci? Nah, I don't like Italian food. Uh, Miss Alden Brown, lunch is almost ready, and I really can't keep it warm much longer. Thank you, Hazel, but I can't do anything until Mr. Wentworth arrives. Yes, Miss Alden. How many times have I asked you about it to please just call me, I mean, Hazel, to call me by the... Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that Miss Krista likes to be called Miss Aldenbrook, and I get confused sometimes. Oh, Hazel, this is Miss Viscuso and her brother-in-law, Guy. I can see that. Of course he's a guy. No, 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 that's his name. Oh. It's okay. I get that all the time. Ding dong! Oh, no, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> hey, cheerio! No, I'm Hazel. And you are? Uh, I'm Nigel Wentworth. Uh, I was Mr. Hollenberg's attorney, and I'm expected. To what? What? Expected to what? Expected to be here. Oh, well, that is a really good thing you are then. Yes, uh, <laughs> Come on in, Mr. Wentworth. Truly. <laughs> well, let's see. Now that he's here, I'm going to go finish getting lunch ready. Excellent. Huh. All right, Miss Albuquerque, let's get right to it. Your father left his entire estate and business empire in this sealed envelope. To be read, to be read when the presence of these people on this list are here. Okay, um, Violet Aldenbrook, that's me. Chris and Lynn, they're in the kitchen. Gabriella Vascuso, well, I guess that makes sense since you were a friend of father's. Yes, of course. But Mr. Wentworth, this list only has four names on it. What about all of father's other friends and colleagues? Well, I guess they just didn't leave as much of an impression on him as that bus did. Oh. I'm sorry, that, oh. that was uncalled for. Shall, shall we get on with the reading of the will? Actually, I had lunch prepared and I was hoping we could eat that before we have the reading of the will. I, I don't see why not. Well, I think that's a good idea. I don't care how much father liked her, she was the most incompetent maid ever. She can't cook. She's not supposed to. She's a maid. Her job is to clean and keep the house up. She's only cooking out of the kindness of her heart. I blame Pierre for this. Yes, if she hadn't left us to cook for that Robertson woman, we wouldn't have to put up with Hazel's two-star cooking. Uh, lunch is ready, everyone. Oh, good. Shall we? Ah, uh, let's. Good. Gabriella, though, I would you like to join us for lunch, since you're here for the reading of the will anyway? What? Uh, you must be Krista and, and Lynn. I was your father's attorney, Nigel Whitworth. Um, pleased to meet you, Mr. Wentworth. Oh, oh Nigel, please. Uh, Hazel, would you be joining us for lunch? Oh, no, I'm going to finish my duties. Thank you. Fine, this way, everyone. Okay. 
Quick, turn around and count to ten. What? Why? So you won't see where I'm hiding. Oh my god. Come on, let's hide in the hall. Okay, I'll find the real bill. You go get the fake will. Uh oh. Did, sh did you hear something? Hear what? Well, nothing, I guess. Um, where is it? The will? No, your underwear drawer. Of course, the will. It's Wait. in my room under my mattress. Wait, Connie. Are you sure you didn't hear something? What are you talking about? Oh, never mind.
and who do I have to kill to get a little privacy around here? Not me, madam. I, I was just passing through it. Were you going through my briefcase? No. Hmm. Ah. Your name is Gabriella, right? Yes. So I can call you Gab. <laughs> Not if you want to live. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I, I think they've almost got dessert ready, and, and we can go back with this uh, numbers. I mean, I mean people, I, I mean, let's go. No, I, did you say something? Yeah, let's go. Gabriella. Okay, Gab, uh, Riella. Next person that interrupts me is gonna get slapped. <laughs> Sweetie. Uh, what was that for? I didn't well, even just, do anything. Just consider it a slap for a future screw up. Now help me look for this will. I okay. can't believe you. They're coming back. Quick. Kiss me. What? Why? So it looks like we're doing something. Oh, you're supposed to be my brother. In law. You ruined dessert. What were you thinking? Well, how was I supposed to know it was a, wasn't a frozen dessert? Calm down, Krista. I didn't say anything like that. Just because it's called baked Alaska does not mean you bake it. Violet, I mean, uh, go ahead. Calm down. Calm down, Krista. I will not calm down. She does this all the time. She's an idiot. <laughs> hey, nobody talks that way about my sister. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Krista wasn't talking about you. Well, God, it was just being a very sensitive guy. So are you feeling better now, Gabriella? Oh, yes, thank you. What's wrong with her? Uh, she's a dog. Huh? Huh? Well, never mind. Well, what about the reading of the will? Mr. Wentworth, are we ever going to get on with the reading of the will? I mean, that uh, is why we're here. Yes, I know. Yes, I think it's about, I think it's about time that we get on with the reading of the will. Go ahead, Nigel. Mr. Will, did you, Mr. Wentworth, did you set the will down somewhere? Um, yes, I believe you're right, but I'm not sure where that is. I think I saw it in the briefcase. Yes, yes. Uh, are That's you sure? Uh-huh, absolutely. Almost assuredly. Oh, no. I saw him put it on the arm of the chair. Uh, me too. Huh. Well, then, let's get... Down to the real no. 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 Sinister. Sinister. Oh, shh. Okay. I knew it screwed that up. Okay. Arm of the chair. Okay. It's not like anybody would be so sinister as to steal the real will. And, uh,. Try to place a false will inside my briefcase, would they? Of course not. In fact, now that I think about it, I think I did see him put something on the arm of the chair. What was that about? I was ad lib. Stop it, you two. All right, then. Let's get down to the real nitty gritty. Well, no worry, Mr. Weber. There's no hurry? Yes, there is, Miss Alderbrook. You know, one day you can be walking along just fine as can be, and the next day you get clipped by a bus doing 70 miles. Oh! Uh, here, here, have a handkerchief. Oh, thank you, Dingo! Oh, I'll get it. Hello, my God!
my name is Erica Levinson. You might remember me as Eric Levinson. <coughs> Ring a bell? No. Not really. You can't say as it does. This ought to be good. Well, I guess it wouldn't, since my affiliation was with your father. No, you knew our father? No, my dad did. And your father <laughs> is the reason I have to wear cheap jewelry and my family lost its fortune. How? Your father. <laughs> Bought my daddy's company right out from under me. Our, our father wouldn't do that. He wasn't into corporate takeovers. You obviously didn't know your father very well. Well, well even if that is the case, doesn't give you the right to barge in here with a gun. <laughs> and for that comment, you die first. Oh, 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 so you just came here to kill us? Oh, no, I came for your family's fortune. Oh. You see, the way I figure it, at least one of you got your father's inheritance, and I'm going to make them fork it over. Huh? Well, there's one small problem with that. No one's gotten the inheritance yet. What? No, we haven't seen the will yet. Oh, just great, Erica. Way to go. Well, Impeccable timing. We were just about to look at it. Then let's go in. We can't. Why not? Because father's lawyer fainted when you put a gun in his face. Oh, uh, do point swear, yeah. I'm on the street here. Would you like to be alone with yourself? Oh, shut up. Oh. I'm trying to think. Don't strain yourself. What? Oh, nothing. Oh, it's not all the show. Team. Well, then. My hero. Oh. I'm okay. And that's why it pays to be a sexy villain. Oh. You, come over here for the rest. Is there anyone else back there? No, I'm oh. the last one. Good. Oh. oh, God, what a horrible night they are on. Dash it all. Oh, good, you're awake. Now you can tell us who gets Alderbrook's money so I can take it away from them. All right. Are you, uh, Bill Levinson's, uh, son or daughter? Uh, how is old Bill, anyway? He's dead. Uh, did he? Then I guess he didn't get over that thing, then. Oh, just go on and read the will. Well, uh, I, I would, but I put it on the arm of the chair. It seems to have disappeared. You lost it? Well, lost is such a strong word. Let's just say I misplaced it. Oh. This just keeps getting better and better. I think I saw it in the dining room. Oh, okay. No, I think I saw it in the dining room. Yes, I think I saw it on the table. <laughs> then let's go get it. You go ahead. I don't feel up to it. You don't have a choice. In that case, last one in the dining room, go right there. It's going to be a long day. Let's go. <gasps> Blackout.